welcome. My name is Robert Pitzpahl. I'm the co-director of the Institute of Solar Research. And it's my pleasure now to give you a brief introduction into our institute and into the German Aerospace Center. Well, the German Aerospace Center is German's large-scale institution dealing with research in the field of engineering. It's also the German Space Agency managing the national budget for space research and is working as a service provider as a project management agency. DLRR has overall about 6,900 employees all across Germany. 34 institutes and facilities are distributed among 15 sites. In addition, we have offices in Brussels, in Paris, Washington, and also in Almeria in southern Spain. The guiding principles in our vision are that DLR is one of Europe's leading research institutions setting trends in its fields aeronautics, space, transport and energy business areas. It also serves its space agency function, a force that shapes European space activities, and it's an umbrella organization for the most effective and efficient project management agencies and offices. I will come now to the field of energy research, and in particular, the field of solar power. That's the major focus of the Institute of Solar Research. DLR targets its research fields in energy based on its core competences. One of the core competences in the energy field is dealing with concentrating solar power technologies. This is the technology that uses concentrating collectors to generate high temperature heat that can operate a power cycle or can serve other purposes like process heat or uh, provide energy to chemical reactions. We are not dealing with photovoltaic technology in this center as there are other large scale research centers in Germany that have this focus. So the work is split among the research institutions and DLR's focus are the concentrating solar power technologies. No other institution in Germany is dealing with this subject in such a large scale as DLR does. The major institution in DLR that is dealing with this subject is the Institute of Solar Research. This institute has recently been founded out of a department that has been part of a different institute. Together with my colleague Bernhard Hofschmidt, I'm in charge as a director for this institute. The institute has about 100 employees, among them 20 to 25 students, and we are located in Cologne, in Stuttgart, in Almeria in southern Spain and also in Jülich. Overall, the turnover is about more than 10 million euros, out of which about 75% come from third parties. The work of the Institute is very much focused on the application. So there are several license agreements signed and spin-off companies founded in the last five years. Our vision is to transfer the knowledge that we have created towards industrial products. We are the leading player in this field in Germany and have cooperation agreements with almost all large German CSP industry companies like Schott, Flabeck, Siemens or Kraftanlag in München. Recently, the solar power tower in Jülich, a demonstration facility, has been transferred to DLR and is now part of our institution and can be used as a large-scale research facility. The institute is structured in five technical departments and one administrative department. And as you can see from this figure here, we have the different colors for the different sites. So the, the departments are line focusing systems. And you see that in this department, there are several groups located in Cologne, as well as in Stuttgart and in Almeria. We have the point focusing systems that are a central receiver technology, for example, where we have people working in Stuttgart and in Cologne. We have then the qualification, where the people are located in Almeria and Cologne. We have the solar process technology, people are located in Cologne, as well as the facilities and solar materials, where people are located in Cologne and in Jülich. In addition, we have also administrative functions mainly located in Cologne as well as support units in Almeria and Stuttgart. The goal of the Institute is to become a global leader in system competence of concentrating solar technologies. The vision is to bring the idea to the product by excellent research, by unique R&D infrastructure and to become the first address for national and international industry. 
Well, the institute is spread in different sites, as I have mentioned already. The main headquarter is in Cologne, where we have also some facilities. We'll come to that point later. We have a group in Stuttgart, mainly dealing with simulation and engineering questions, as well as access to the plot of Homer Solar in Almeria and the solar facility in Jülich. Let's come to our different premises. Let's first mention the Plataforma Solar in Almeria, where most of this video tutorial of Enamena has been recorded. This facility is owned and operated by the Spanish Energy Research Center CIAMA. DLR is cooperating in this field for more than 30 years with this partner, and we have a permanent delegation at this site of about 20 scientists. As you can see from this picture, this is a very comprehensive facility with a lot of different uh, technologies demonstrated and tested. It's the largest facility on concentrating solar thermal in Europe. Many of these different uh, setups and devices can be used for testing purposes and for optimizing the operation. This ranges from central receiver technology, parabolic trough and many other activities that be, can be performed here. DLR and CMOD are working closely together in this facility, but there are also projects that are performed independently together with the industry. The, our new acquisition, the Solar Power Tower in Ulic, is a 1.5 megawatt demonstration facility based on volumetric air receiver technology. After a demonstration phase of three years that has shown the performance of the facility, now the system is used for research purposes. There is an additional solar research platform integrated into the central tower where additional experiments can be set up and erected. Also, the operation of the plant, the heliostat field and other subjects in this area are part of our research programs. The facility in Hulik is also used and planned for extensions. Not only the central tower, but also additional test facilities for heliostats, for parabolic troughs, for linear Fresnel collectors, as well as testing of sensor technology to control the heliostat field. And additional research platforms are planned to be implemented in that site. The major idea in this concept is to provide a research platform that gives access to the industry on a very confidential basis. A bilateral partnership agreement is the basis for the collaboration and this premises. We also operate facilities in our research center in Cologne and one is the solar furnace. A solar furnace uses a heliostat in order to concentrate the sunlight on a second concentrator and the energy is then redirected to the focus spot that is inside of the building. By that, we can achieve concentrated sunlight on the laboratory table and the concentration of the system is very high. We can achieve 5,000 suns, which could melt an alloy plate in less than a minute. A facility is remotely controlled so that the there is no danger in operating high temperature experiments and it's the first step of a development phase where we use the system in order to test elements and materials before we scale it up to a larger size that then can be tested in Almeria or Jülich. In addition, we also operate a solar simulator in Cologne. This is an arc lamp solar simulator that uses electric current in order to operate this electric lamp and use these concentrators here to achieve a similar concentration as the solar furnace does. So the same experimental setups can be used in the solar simulator and in the solar furnace. The benefit of the solar furnace is that we can operate continuously. We are not depending on the weather. We have very reproducible boundary conditions. The benefit of the solar furnace is that we use the real solar spectrum with all its impacts on the experiment. Essential other facilities for component qualification are located in Cologne as well as in Almeria. We have, for example, test setups to test components for parabolic trough collectors like uh, receiver tubes or mirrors. And we have also, in cooperation with our partner CMUD, an aging laboratory where we could provide experiments related to the duration, durability of our materials. Recent contributions to successful stories in the solar energy where DLR has participated in are, for example, the Eurotrough collector, a new collector design that is today a basis for most of the commercial power plants in Spain. 
The design was supported by numerical and experimental analysis of the DLR by newly developed measurement technologies and has led to a collector performance that is about 10% better than the previous collector design. These systems have been demonstrated with one significantly more than 1 million square meters in commercial systems. The technologies for the quality measurements have been transferred to a spin-off company, CSP Services, that now provides this service to the industry. Another example is a concept uh, that is known under the name hydrosol. In this concept, we have developed a system where water can be split in hydrogen and oxygen in a two-phase thermochemical step. In one phase, a metal oxide that is linked to a ceramic carrier structure is oxidized by water steam that is flown through the system and hydrogen is released. When this oxide is heated up to temperatures of more than 1200 degrees centigrade, it is reduced again and the oxygen is released. So in two different steps, we get hydrogen and oxygen out of this concept. This has been developed and tested not only in our solar furnace, but also in a scale-up design of 100 kilowatt at the Plataforma Solar. The concept was awarded a couple of different awards, for example, the Descartes Prize of the European Union in the year 2006. One final success story I would like to mention is the development of the HITREC receiver technology, a volumetric receiver technology that is today used in the commercial system in our power plant in Jülich. Early development started in the solar furnace with a material selection and qualification. The system was scaled up to 3 megawatt power size at the Plataforma Solar in Almeria. Before the design of our power plant in Ulic was prepared, license agreements have been performed with the company Kraftanlagen and the demonstration unit in Ulic was erected and operated. Now Kraftanlagen is preparing other commercial projects, for example in Almeria. Well, this hopefully gave you a brief overview on the activities of our Solar Institute and gives some insights in our knowledge that is the basis for this Inner Mena video tutorial course. Thank you for your attention.